Hey guys, so I already covered how you get to this point um, in my previous video, that is how to start a new site. This video will be specifically on how to create a new website. So here would be the name of your website, or you could also put it here. For right now, we're just going to say um, student site, just because we're playing around with stuff. This is the name of your page. So this might be your welcome page. And you could, of course, title it whatever you want. You can change the background. You can upload your own. Um, or you could select an image. And what's important to know is um, your English teachers might have touched on this a little bit or maybe a previous teacher. But only certain pictures on Google or any other website are actually legal for you to use on a public forum like a site. Um, every one that you search this way through our district is one that you can legally use. So as long as you use um, anything that you find on here in the gallery, or even if you search, anything that pops up will be one that you can legally use. If you upload one that you personally took, that of course is one that you can legally use as well. But if you just search for an image, um, you know, through your web browser and find one and upload it, it may not, not for sure, but it may not be legally allowed. So just putting that out there so that you know. And you can also change the way that this looks. Right now it's a banner. You could just have a cover where this is your cover site and then they would have to scroll through your other pages in order to look at those individual pages. Um, you can have a large banner, just a regular banner, or just the title by itself. So there's lots of different options that you can use. Usually most people use the large banner or just the banner unless you just want to welcome someone to your site and give them lo lots of options. Okay, then we have this over here, which is where you insert any type of thing into your website. So the first thing that you can insert is of course just a text box. So in this, you can change its size if you want to. You can make it littler or longer, um, and it will grow long ways depending on what you type. So if I filled up all of this, let me just, there you go. And it'll keep scrolling down and getting longer. So as far as length, it'll be as long as it needs to be for that text. Um, but you can also make it wider or less wide. Um, and so if you want a text box here and like an image over here, you can adjust it that way. And it's just drag and drop. So if I had other things on here, I could drag this um, below them. I can drag it off to the side. And if that's just by pressing these little dots up here at the top. And if you decide that you want to change the color of the background, you can do that. So here's my text here. Um, you don't have to, of course, have a colored background. You could even put an image if you want to. Um, if you decide you want to copy what's there, it'll duplicate it. Duplicate it. So that's what this is, is it just duplicates it. And of course, the bottom is to delete it. And so this entire thing is called a section. Um, so anything I put over here will need to be the same length as this text. And if it's not, it'll drag that text down. So um, so if I just typed something little like that, and if I wanted to insert an image, I'm just going to select something. And again, all of these images that pop up are ones that you can legally use. Um, sorry, these are my students' <laughs> works. Um, but you could just look through Google Images and let's just find a student. And of course, all these are legal, even though these are kids, they are ones that you can legally put on there, meaning that they're either adults or their parents have okayed um, that. So I'm gonna select that and insert it. So if I put it up here with this section, now this section is this big. So if I want to put something down here, it's going to have all of this white area here. So just keep that in mind whenever you're setting something up like this. 
So of course you could put in um, an image. You can also embed something. Now, in order to do that, you would need a URL for whatever it is that you're embedding or an embed code, which will always have these two little things here. Um, this is pretty advanced, actually. Um, you don't necessarily need to use it, but what it means is, let's say you're working with the Google document um, and you wanna embed it, and there's actually an easier way, but I'm just using it as an example, and you wanted to be able to see the Google document here on the website instead of going to that Google document site itself. So if you just want it to appear here, you would embed it. Now there's an easier way because this is Google. Um, it'll automatically embed those things for you. It won't give you just links unless you tell it to. Or you could drag over stuff from your Google Drive. This next part down here, are various layouts you can choose from that are auto. I'm gonna delete all this um, so you can see what all of these are. And of course there are undo buttons. So if you accidentally delete something, you can bring it back. I don't want it there. Um, so all of these, um, this is one of the layouts where it's a picture and a text. So kind of like what I just showed you, um, but it's an automatic layout for you. And this is um, just a placeholder and it's there so you can put in anything that you want. You can put in a YouTube video, a calendar, meaning an actual Google calendar, um, Google Maps, if you want to be able to find something, uh, anything from your Google Drive, an image, or just upload even a file, it would be here. So they have all these different layout options that you could choose from. You can play around with them and see what those look like. Now below here, these are all the different things that you can put into your Google site. It's anything that you could possibly ever need. So there's a collapsible text, which what that means is, oops, sorry. Oops. Um, is that whenever I, when I, if I go, and this right here is the preview, so you can see what it would look like for real. So if I preview this, um, only, <laughs> I spelled hello wrong, I'm sorry, typo. Um, so only your title would appear, and if you want to see the rest of it, you would have to click the drop down to see the rest of it. So it's just a way to kind of save size of your actual page itself, um, which is really helpful when you're thinking about like phones. But otherwise, you don't necessarily need that because most people want to see it immediately. Um, you can put in a table of contents if you want to. So all the different things that you would want your site to be, you could put in a table of contents. And then they could even click on those items from your table of contents to go to other pages. Although that will automatically happen. You don't have to do a table of contents unless you want to. An image carousel. So... Um, I'm going to just choose some images that I used to teach kids about Google Keep. Um, and I am a Summer Creek teacher, so that's why that's here. Let's choose this one and my Summer Creek Bulldog and then this picture. So I just want to kind of show you what this will look like whenever you actually put it in there. So whenever I look at this through the live website, You'll only see the first one, but a little arrow appears, and then I can click through all those different images that I put on there. Um, and you can play with that. You could, of course, widen this up so that you could see all of this image if you want to. And I'll show you what that looks like. So as you can see, my bulldog doesn't show up all the way, but if you click here, you can use this and pull it over until you can see all of the bulldog. Um, so that's kind of how you deal with those images. So that's your image carousel. You can put in a button, which means that you would use a link. You would use a picture and then a link to go to a specific page or something like that if you want to. Um, dividers are great if you are if you have multiple sections. So let me see. Let's put in a table of contents and then I would put in a divider and then I would put in an image carousel. Oh, that's not so easy to do. Let's put in some collapsible text. So what happens is the divider separates these two and you can clearly see where the sections are divided in case you need to do that. Sorry.
Um, you can put in a placeholder like you saw before for the picture. If you don't know what picture you're going to put in, but you know you want it to be here and this size, you can put it in ahead of time and just work on text and then put in those pictures later. You can put in a YouTube video. And so what happens is whenever you put in a YouTube video, um, it embeds the video on your site. So hold on one second. So if you want to put in a YouTube video, you're going to need the URL. So I found a URL for one of my teaching videos. And if you want to learn about Trig, you know, um, it will embed it into the website itself. So you don't have to go to YouTube. You can watch it through the website itself. So if you happen to put a, want to put a video in there, it embeds it into the website. So if you look at it from the website itself, you don't go to YouTube, you just search it through there. And I'm not going to make you watch about Trig. Most people don't want to know about Trig. Um, but you, it'll just play within the website without having to go to YouTube. Um, you can input a Google Calendar if you want. Um, none of these are actually live anymore, but I can go ahead and put them in. Oh no. So there's a, there we go. Um, so this is actually my geometry class from last year. So there's not going to be anything in July, but it would show up here um, if there's anything that you want to see. So of course it's embedded and you can make it bigger or smaller if you want to. But if I were to go back, of course, this is all of my geometry stuff. So you can kind of see how that works. It just embeds the calendar in there. Okay, and then you can also put in a Google Maps. Of course, I work at Summer Creek, so I'm going to choose that. And it embeds the map for Summer Creek into uh, my website. And of course, whenever you're actually looking at it, it'll work exactly like Google Maps does on its own. So I can come down here, I can zoom in or zoom out and just look at where it is and stuff like that. So that's the map. Of course, you can put in any Google Doc you want and it will embed that Google Doc. This is our plan for next school year um, on what we're gonna teach in pre-AP geometry and it'll put it in as an actual Google Doc. Um, you can shrink it if you want to and grow it this way so that they can see the entire thing page by page um, and they'll also be able to scroll through so of course if this one is an entire year next year's um, calendar so you'll be able to scroll through it and see all of it we've only planned the first nine weeks but you can kind of see how that works it embeds that calendar into your website Um, you can, oh, sorry, the doc in your website. You can, of course, embed slides, just like the Google Docs. You can embed sheets. You can embed any type of Google form, um, and it'll embed it as well, or any charts. Now, the charts will have to be built through Google Sheets. Um, I don't have anything that you legally can actually look at um, as far as charts go, so I can't technically show you about it. But if you know how to make charts in Google Sheets, you would choose the Google Sheet you want it to come from, and then it'll embed it into your website. Also, if you choose to embed any of these into your website, if you go back to the, let's say you embed a Google Doc, like that, the um, my calendar that I just showed you that I put in Docs, um, if I embed this into my website and I change anything on here, it'll change it on my website as well. So it'll do it automatically because Google talks to all the other Google things. Now this will only work with Google Docs, slides, sheets, and forms, but if you change the original, it'll also change it on your website, which is very, very helpful. So that's all the different things that you can insert into your website. You can also add multiple pages. So this is my home page, and let's say, you know, you can name it whatever you want. Um, your second page, it'll put it in there. Um, we'll say the third page, just to kind of show you the way this works. 
and it puts these up here even on the actual website itself. Um, you can click within those pages on your website. So that's how you add additional information. Um, also, I didn't go over this, but you can look at it, what it would look like on a tablet and what it would look like on a phone. So sometimes um, Google Sites, if you don't set it up correctly, will make your website look really weird from a phone because you set it up on a computer or vice versa. And so this will allow you to see what it'll look like and change those things um, to make it look a little bit better if you want to. And of course, there are themes, just like in Google Slides, you have various themes you can choose from. Right now I'm on simple um, and I'm choosing this as my default color, but I could choose any of these and it will change it. And I could, of course, choose any color if I want to. Um, and it'll use this type of font or you can change the style of font if you want to. Um, they have many, many different ones that you can pick from, all these different themes. And so, so you can make it um, look like any one of these themes if that's what you choose to do. Or you can build it straight from scratch and choose whatever fonts or anything like that you want to as well. Because um, whenever you click on any words, you of course can choose if it's a title, a heading, a subheading. You can bold it, italicize it. Um, you can choose... You know, if it's going to be right, justify less the justification. You can link it to something else if you want to. Um, so you can change a lot of what this stuff looks like according to what you want to build. And that's going to be the end.